What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Monday and I hope you guys had a very very nice relaxing weekend. Ours went well but you know what I always say they just go too fast. Okay. What we have here today is comedian Dave Chappelle, the most controversial, prolific comedian of all times here. Okay. Very, very funny dude. Very, very funny dude. It's kind of like it's an understatement just to say he's funny. You know, but uh, there's some people in light of this Israel versus Hamas war. You understand? That, you know, don't think he's so funny. Just because he decided to voice his opinion about Israel versus Palestine. Okay? So much to the point. It says here, Dave Chappelle fans walk out after he blasts Israel's war crimes in Gaza. Pro-Palestinians losing jobs offers. Okay? Report. Okay, that's what that is. And uh, basically, you know, David Chappelle said, you know, he don't think what Israel is doing, you know, sending bombs over there, killing innocent, you know, people, women and children, babies, what have you. You understand? But of course, you know, you, you guys, if you watched... Um, the video I just did this past Friday, you know my take on Palestine, well, Hamas, whatever, versus Israel, okay? I'm not down for neither one of them, okay? But Dave Chappelle seems to, you know, he's pro-Palestine, basically, okay? But to get into this particular article here, it says they weren't laughing. Comedian Dave Chappelle criticized the United States for backing Israel war crimes against Palestinians during a live performance in Boston Thursday, prompting some audience members to walk out, according to a report. A controversial comic made the remarks during a show at the TD Garden on Thursday, Wall Street Journal reported. Chappelle condemned Hamas' October 7th attack in Israel that left some 1,400 Israelis dead, but blasted what he claimed uh, war, I mean, excuse me, were Israel's war crimes in Gaza, sparking some pushback from the crowd. People in attendance told the outlet. The braha started when a member of the audience told Chappelle to shut up after he said he didn't think people should lose their jobs for supporting Palestinians, according. Um, According, well, that's what it says, according. Um, yeah, yeah, somebody said, you know, told him to shut the fuck up. And Chappelle's like, you shut the fuck up. And I don't blame him, you understand? I mean, after all, Chappelle, like anybody else, has a right to voice his opinion about this particular war right here. Which I do believe, heading to, you know, World War Three, because there's going to be some other people getting in on this. You know, America up here... You know how they like to do. They like to put their two cents in on everything. You know, as far as I'm concerned. But then, you know, you got Russia and then their ally, China. Well, we just going into World War III. Pretty much, you know, uh, fulfilling the prophecies of the Most High's word. But to continue here, it says, Chappelle, in response, criticized the Israeli government's decision to cut off food, water, and electricity to Gaza. Okay. Then we got some images right here with this <laughs> week. Wow, look at that, that big face right there in that smoke. Whew, this is no joke. Makes me think of the uh, the situation where uh, the river, the river drying up over there. I can't remember what river it is and how these uh, four angels, Euphrates, that's it. The river Euphrates drying up and how the four angels, the fallen ones are released and there's going to be a lot of men. A lot of men that die after that, you understand? Kind of reminds me of that, but nevertheless, it says Chappelle accused Israel of committing war crimes. Smoke billows over the Gaza Strip on October 22nd, 2023, okay? And that image there, and then we got the war-torn city. Well, I guess this is Palestinians. Image, um, well, excuse me, Palestinians inspect the damage after overnight Israeli strikes on Rafa in the southern Gaza Strip on October 22nd, 2023, okay? And it's bad. I mean, 
this is what it is, people, you know, and uh, this is something for us as Americans, so-called American people to consider that one day these particular realities is going to be over here. I just I, I, I really do believe that. OK, now to continue here, it says he also accused Israel of killing innocent civilians and committing war crimes, according to the report. More than 4,300 Palestinians have been killed in the conflict as the Israel Defense Forces has relentlessly pummeled the enclaved, or well, unclaved, uh, with more than 6,000 bombs. Those dead include women and children, according to Palestinian authorities. Okay? That's what he mad at old Dave because of that. You know, I'll tell you, man. You know, I, I, I get so tired of sensitive ass people. You know, you can't say anything without somebody getting a little attitude about it. You know, cowardly mugs that hide behind control panels. You understand what I'm saying? That wouldn't dare address you face to face if they felt like they didn't have the advantage. You know, these type. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, whoever these people were that went at Chappelle in his comic thing, it was y'all lost because you paid the money to come see him. That's basically what it boils down to, okay? Now, it goes on to say here, uh, David Chappelle shown in June uh, 2022 reportedly had fans walk out of his show after blasting Israel's war crimes in Gaza on Thursday in Boston, you know? Now, that was back last year, but we talking about now, okay? Other members of the audience cheered and shouted, Free Palestine, while others shot back. What about Hamas? Witness told the journal. Some members of the audience walked out after the ruckus moment. Um, now you got these prices right here, okay? Where you got, uh, I guess this is where Chappelle, where he's been going, you know, October 7th at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, $118. Milwaukee, $86. I guess this is a ticket cost. Um, Garden in Boston, $54. Bucks. Uh, Garden in Boston, MA, $75. Um, PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, $77. And then you got Charlotte, North Carolina, $90. Then you got Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, $78. So, you know, these these are healthy price tickets, you know. Uh, and so for anybody to sit up there and uh, <laughs> walk out on a show, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, you just threw your own money away. Because, see, this man is getting paid no matter what you say, you know, whatever you do. You know, now, in conclusion here, it says... Um, Towards the end of the show, Chappelle reportedly said that two wrongs don't make a right in reference to the Hamas attacks and Israeli military response. A spokesperson for Chappelle told the outlet the comedian denies being in Boston that night, despite the show being listed among his dates by ticket outlets. Okay. Hmm. What's up with that? You see, a portion of Chappelle's scheduled events listed an October 19th show at the TD Garden in Boston. Well, he said he wasn't there. <laughs> he said it wasn't me. <laughs> Makes no sense to me, but hey, that's what it is, people. But yeah, the thing is, like I said, you know, people, hey, stop trying to hinder people's right to free speech. You see what I'm saying? You don't control what nobody's saying what because you ain't big and bad enough to jump up in nobody's face. Anyway, you like to do things from a distance. You see what I'm saying? Leave folks alone. Folks say what they want to say. You understand? Just like you do. You know, and that's just what it is. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.